You're listening to the best of the Morning X, dropping back into the interview from a few moments ago. This is the original 99X. Please welcome Jay Moore. Hey, Yay. Jay. Jay Moore. Are you guys together in the movie? That's a secret. Uh-huh. Oh, the way no, he's we're avoiding fine. the we're question. We're soap actors that are like friends. I gotcha. Uh, soap opera uh, actors genre, that are friends? But, uh, we looked like a great couple, so they decided to put us on the cover. You yeah. had to be thrilled with it. Yeah, I don't mind. It's fine with me. You know, a magazine like Genre is not like, you know, my mom's never going to read. People go, what do your parents think, that you're in a gay magazine? Right, right. Well, it's, you know, it's not like some guy in my dad's <laughs> office is going to go, hey, John, it's I right. was reading that gay magazine Genre and right. happened to come across your son. What's right. up with that? Mom has probably not got the subscription to Genre. Have you yeah, ever been? people that do have the subscription aren't going to come up to my dad and out themselves right. to ha- identify me. Have you ever been hit on by another guy? Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Do you have one of those? Because I have one of those faces that, for some reason, appeals to gay men. Yeah, I think I'm in the same boat with you. Yeah. And, I mean, are you uh, antagonistic you about it when that happens? Or do you, I mean, how do you, how do you, you, know, how do you get well, out of know, that? Some, it's not even hitting on it. It's just the, the avenue of conversation, for some reason. I have a sign on my head that says, come talk to me. Right. Um, and plus, if you go to any gym, like in Los Angeles, it's, you know, it's right. kind of 50-50. In the locker room. Do you live New York or L.A.? I live in L.A., but I prefer New York. Mm-hmm. What was that lip service show? Refresh my memory. Oh, that was the best, man. I don't remember it. It was a let's take a lip sync, let's take lip syncing and make a whole show out of it and do forty of them. Because you hosted oh, MTV's yeah. lip service, I just don't remember it. Uh, yeah, that was remember my first that, job ever. Mm-hmm. I do remember that. I, I, I didn't remember that you hosted that. That was the yeah. They would lip sync songs, yeah, but they didn't know what song they were lip syncing to until it right. came on. Oh, right. But Jay, like, what will we love about your new movie, Go? It's kind of like uh, Pulp Fiction, so I can't even really tell you what it's about, because it's like, what's Pulp Fiction about? You wouldn't be able to tell me. True. The you trailer. Go, well, it's like this guy, uh, you know, it's hard to explain. The trailer is enticing. I mean, it's so quick. It, it, it's, it's, you know, it's the best movie I've done since Jerry Maguire. And I'm honest about movies. Like, right. Know, I'll tell you if a movie stinks or not, and I'm uh, in. What, 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 when you, you won an Emmy, was it, for Saturday Night Live, or did the show win an nominated, Emmy? Nominated, right? The writing staff was nominated for Okay. An I've won an ESPY. Yeah, well, for I, lip service, right? Yeah, no. But, an ESPY for a uh, sketch I wrote in SNL with Charles Barkley. Barkley versus Barney. Oh. Dinosaur. I do they remember that. They were doing, like, that. Barkley versus uh, Godzilla commercials. Uh, I don't know for, if I've for seen For Nike, those. it was, like, a big thing, Barkley playing basketball against uh, Godzilla, and then I wrote one, Barkley versus Barney, and Barkley just, like, knees him in the nuts and, like, punches him in the face and stuff. That well. had to be, like, a personal kind of shot for you because you're a huge sports fan, and to get yeah, the SB Yeah, it was SB my first is... week in the show, and it was the opening monologue for the season premiere. Get the SB. It took a load off. It what, movie like, are, what movie are you working on right now? Right now I'm working on Cherry Falls, which is a, uh, a horror movie where I, it's in a high school. I'm a teacher, and someone's killing all the virgins in the school. So uh, the... Uh, so the kids get wind of the fact that he's a serial virgin killer, so they all just have like these uh, organized orgies, and uh, just so they don't get killed. Sounds thrilling. Mm-hmm. Another to say, I'll be on the set uh, in any capacity they need me during all the orgy scenes. Of course. Another, Anybody need some more water? A scrunchie? Is this more of the teen uh, series? The teen uh, yeah, gear. Yeah, but it's it's so uh, tongue in cheek. Like uh, it's a really talented director. It's Jeffrey Wright. He did this movie Romper Stomper, and he's pretty twisted and. We're not taking it too seriously. We know that the genre's been, uh, you know, beaten to death. So this one's pretty tongue in cheek, and we we know what we're, we know we're making a slasher movie type slasher movie. Hey, uh, Jay Moore, before we let you go, uh, we need 15 seconds of your precious Hollywood time uh, to help us to take our fish quiz. This is a quiz that everyone from I'm going to guess walleye. From Warren Beatty to Dustin Hoffman. Right? Drew Barrymore all, just Drew minutes Barrymore ago. Drew just took it about, a, yeah, about an hour or so ago. Want to hear my Drew Barrymore impression? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love fish. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. You know Life what? That's not bad. Life is a metamorphosis. That's not bad. Uh, when I watch her speak, her lips look like fish fighting. Yes. They can fight all over me you any day. You guys hold your laughter until the end of the interview. They we're going to hold on to it. Um, actually, yeah. Jeez. Okay, so here's the deal. I feel like 15... I'm at an assembly. No, no. It's... 
Now you laugh. No, well, ten minute interview. It, I got it, him at the end when I made fun of myself. No, we're a tough, <laughs> we're a tough crowd. But you know, uh, I like that the other guy came out of the closet in the middle yeah, of the interview. Yeah, I feel much better genre now. Genre in the gay section, apparently, at a gay newsstand <laughs> with my friend Bruce. Right. It was the right, and it, it again, was Ricky actually. And, oh, sorry. And again, it was the other guy. Uh, anyway, so the fish quiz, 15 seconds. You have 15 seconds to name as many fish as possible. Now, you can, anything that swims underwater, it, uh, you know. Anything any, living underwater anything counts. Living I bet Drew Barrymore said dolphin. Uh, no, actually, no, she, she didn't. didn't do too no. bad. She had 10. She got 10. The record is uh, held by Juli- uh, Julio. 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 Julio holds the record. <laughs> Get out of here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. he, he got he holds several. The record. He got, so, he got a on lot. your mark, get set, Go. Shark, walleye, pike, trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, uh, musky, sunny, shad, roe, um, let's see, fluke, flounder, catfish, uh, grouper. Oh, oh my God. 13. 13. The actually, champ was 15. Actually, on a technicality, it's 12 because walleye and pike, walleye is a pike. What are you, Mr. Fish You've expert over there? You've learned a lot about fish since well, we've been doing this. What a oh. jackass. <laughs> No, he's sitting well, there I'm dissing you, Jay. A walleye is a pike. No, it's yeah, but if you caught a walleye, you wouldn't go look. I caught a pike. But if yeah. you caught a pike, you wouldn't say look. I caught a walleye. Remember They're we had this, like but there is no, there is no. Give fish. me thirteen, Jack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, back to I don't make newsstand. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, we had this with blowfish and and what was the other? How the hell did Coolio rattle off fifteen? What was he on speed? He did. Yeah, I was he going rapping. as fast as I could. If you, he, he, you had a couple of ums. You stalled for about three seconds. That's where you lost it. It's the L.A. It's being in L.A. does that. So if you were in New York, you would have been, hey, 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 hey. here. You want, here. You want I'm going to put you on hold. You'll hear, hear Coolio. Listen. Here's Coolio. Uh, yeah. This is, fifth, this, is how it, this is how it's done. Pike, perch, salmon, bass, shark, whale, dolphin, octopus, uh, manta ray, uh, barracuda, uh, blowfish, pufferfish, crab, lobster, shrimp. Yeah. There you go. You guys have got to be kidding me. No. no. Whale, dolphin, crab, lobster. Anything underwater counts. We told you no, that, No, you Jay. said fish. We, we said, said anything, anything living, living underwater. underwater. Hey, you it. said it's a fish quiz. What's the name of the quiz? Hey, it's not look. A anything underwater quiz. It's a fish <laughs> quiz. Hey, Therefore, look. I tapered my answers to non-sea mammals such as dolphins or whales. Otherwise, I would have had 25. Hey, look. Oh, look. Lo- you guys are jerks. Hey, look, Mr. <laughs> Cover of Genre Magazine. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. We make the rules. It's a fish <laughs> quiz, and Julio's going dolphin. <laughs> Jay Moore's a live crab, wire, clam. <laughs> This guy, this is a competitive Sponge. man right here. This is a competitive man right here. You know, uh, you, like, I am officially the leader because those are. Oh, what man. is the name of the quiz? The fish quiz. Thank and if you. you caught, goodbye. If you caught a fish, you wouldn't say I caught a pike. Go see Go. It opens today in theaters everywhere. Thanks, I am Joe. Officially it's been a, the leader of the thanks, fish Joe. Quiz. Jay, uh, Joe. <laughs> Jay, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> you are a lot of fun. Jay, Joe, whatever. Uh, see you later, Jay. Jay. Guys. You're listening to the best of the morning X. We had to call it something. 99X.